Hello, this is Alex with Tech Avenger TV, and today we are continuing our series on launcher reviews. Today we are reviewing the Apex launcher. Let's take a look at it. So as you can see, it's Apex launcher, A-P-E-X. And uh, let's take a look. Here's some screenshots of what it looks like. Let's read more. Features customizable home screen grid size and up to nine home screens. Scrollable dock with up to seven icons per page and up to five pages. Infinite and elastic scrolling home screen drawer and lock. Fancy transition effects, tablet, cube, etc. Hide elements as you want. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of features here this one uh, claims to have, and we're going to check it out. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on Apex Launcher, and that should put us into our launcher, and yes, it did. Okay. As I always do, let's start with changing the wallpaper. As you can see, I just held my finger on the home screen and it brought up this um, hmm let's see these are some of the wallpapers I think that came with it we'll just go with this one that'll work okay so here we go this is the apex launcher um, as you can see I'm just scrolling through the screens this is the home screen right here and it's got a total of five screens one two three four and five so let's go back to the home screen so I would say this uh, launcher fills uh, fairly quick um, not one of the fastest ones I felt but it is fairly quick um, it's got the Google search up here and uh, that can be useful um, oops it took me out of it there we go we're back in it okay as a matter of fact let me go to my settings so that I can change this so it doesn't uh, keep doing that oh, my God. oh okay so this one as you can see the app drawer uh, you scroll to the left and the right um, which is a little bit different than a lot of other launchers but uh, not a big deal still looks good okay I'm going into my application default applications you may not have to do this but uh, t it, this phone favors touch with so if I don't tell it to use apex launcher it'll keep sending me back to touch with so here we go okay so let's go into our uh, apex settings and uh, as you can see there are a decent amount of settings here so we got home screen settings uh, so you can change your grid from 4x4 four four to all the way up to 9, 10, I guess. 10x10, 10 10. okay. Uh, landscape grid, 4x4, four four, which you can go up to probably 10x10 10 10 as well, yes. And uh, so you need the horizontal, horizontal margin, let's see, you can select that. So there's customization here, vertical margin, okay. Uh, we have icon scale, uh, manage screens, you can reorder uh, the screens, um, all sorts of stuff, interesting, okay. Um, interesting, as you can see, I switched it to uh, 10 by 10, and now you can see there's a bunch of... Uh, it made the, the, all the icons up in the top uh, right-hand corner. Um, so uh, let me, let's go back in the settings and change that back because it just looks weird. Uh, drawer settings, is that what? No, I went to, uh, let's see, home screen settings. Let's change this back to, we'll just go five by five. That'll work. Same with this one, five by five. Okay, so as you can see, then now uh, there's a lot of uh, customization that can be done here. Uh, 
infinite scrolling it's on bounce uh, we'll change that to jump and check that out elastic scrolling enabled uh, transition effect um, try cube out see what that does um, use alpha effect I'm not even sure what that is you guys can try it out it's a lot of stuff here um, that's just that's just in home screen settings there's still drawer settings and dock settings and wow this is a very uh, uh, customizable um, you know launcher I mean it's it's quite customizable I'm kind of surprised I didn't expect uh, this one to be um, what it's turning out to be so this is the drawer settings and um, you can even select I guess a theme well lollipop Kit Kat okay um, drawer icon style um, hidden apps so you can hide apps if you want um, let's go down and let's look at drawer background color so you can I guess change that um, I'll make it red yeah we'll go with that drawer background transparency eh, move that up to 86 uh, so yeah I mean as you guys can see I mean it would take me all day to go through all of these uh, you can kind of mess with yourself the point of this video is really just to give you guys an overview of uh, how the launcher uh, is uh, how it operates and sort of just give you a, a you know get your feet wet a little bit with it so um, there's also a pro version as you can see down here uh, you can buy the pro version and um, it unlocks some more features um, so that is uh, uh, an option if you want to do that um, you can restart Apex Launcher, back up and restore. Nice. Um, let's see, advanced settings. Let's see what's in here. Customize menu. Okay, Google. Um, app animation. Um, scroll speed, icon size. So you can select the size of the icons if you want. Uh, widget resize, widget padding set default launcher I am quite surprised like I said that this one has uh, so much customization available um, so you know uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, resize this so that it looks better okay and um, let's go into the apex menu now okay so add um, that's for you can add uh, apex actions apps shortcuts widgets wallpaper okay um, let's go back into it wallpaper of course we can uh, let's see if they looks like they have a select uh, amount of wallpaper that they offer but you can download your own uh, and install from pictures and stuff from your uh, gallery um, theme settings okay so you can uh, default icon pack scan font and then it looks like you can get themes let's see what does it take us to the play store I think so yeah so these are themes that are made for the apex launcher um, and you can download more themes which is which is nice um, and let's go to manage apps uh, as you can see, okay, you can manage your apps here. Basically, application manager. Uh, manage screens. Okay, so you could probably change which screen you want to be your home screen, add more screens, subtract more screens, uh, stuff like that. Um, Apex settings, which is the same as uh, this one here, which is on our home screen. Um, so let's see manage uh okay where are we apex settings system settings this probably goes to the actual phone settings oh it didn't do anything oh there we go okay it took a minute uh so yeah this is just the phone settings um and then uh 
lock desktop okay I'm not gonna do it right now but you can lock it I guess if you don't want children or whatever to get into the phone um, for maybe for a certain period of time um, however you set it up and then there's help so you can get uh, help check on stuff that you're unsure of um, so and then it puts your Google apps it looks like or um, in, in a actual folder for you the next page it just has settings and then the other ones are empty so by default this is how you look um, your icons it looks like stay the same uh, unless you go in and change your icon pack uh, this is what you got which is the same as uh, in my case touch was by the way if you guys are wondering I'm using the Galaxy S6 uh, for this review and of course touch whiz is what the uh, factory uh, launcher is um, so also I just wanted to take a moment to cover uh, if anybody has a question of uh, what a launcher is uh, if you haven't already noticed by the review that I'm doing it's basically a skin that goes on top of the user interface the Google uh, stock uh, Android user interface uh, that basically goes on top of it and it can change your uh, user interface pretty much to whatever you want to uh, in this case the Apex launcher so um, I just wanted to make that clear and it's uh, you know so anyway let's go back to this uh, launcher you go to the uh, app drawer which as you can see I changed it looks like the background or the border uh, to red and um, as you can see you scroll left to right instead of up to down like a lot of launchers are and so actually you know this isn't my favorite launcher I guess it depends on what you like um, but it does perform well um, it seems to uh, do its job it does have a lot of customization so if you like having a lot of features that you can customize uh, your user experience uh, this might be the one for you um, as you guys know I'm more of a stock Android guy so I tend to like um, just you know I sport a Nexus 6P uh, and I like it just with the stock uh, Android um, because it, it just for some reason something about it I just like I can't really explain it but everybody has their own style and um, you know it's to to each his own and um, this apex launcher does have a lot of customization I can't say that enough it is a a great uh, launcher and I do uh, recommend it to people who want uh, a lot of customization options so okay uh thank you guys for joining me in this video today again this is alex with tender tv please like and subscribe to be among the first to uh, uh, see our videos and uh, we appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next one this is alex out